In today's video, I'll run you through, there are so many new upgrades out, so much new content, player picks, upgrade packs, league upgrades, SBC content, objective content, there's a ton going on, and there's the 12th man player pick today. I'll run you through all the content, I'm your boy Slater, your daily content review, typically in 2 minutes and 20 seconds or less, I think we're going to go a little bit over today, let's get into this. So first and foremost, there's a player pick that's been granted to us, which is to select a team of the year nominee that we want to win, which means it's saying that it's a total fan vote, the winner will receive the full team of the year item. And will be added to the Foot 23 um, Ultimate Team or Team of the Year from Friday 27th of January. So most likely that means that the full team will come out Thursday. The, and then the full team plus honorable mention plus the 12th man will drop on Friday of this week. So let's jump over here and see our options. Now granted, a lot of you are going to be like football purists. And you're probably going to pick who you think had the best year. Which I'm going to guess most likely based on the fact that a lot of people are casuals that play this game. Um, that Erling Holland will win uh, is going to be my guess. He's an attacker. He's higher. He's higher rated. A lot of people just like log on, see an 88 and just take it. Right. So I'm going to guess Erling Holland's going to win. Um, I feel like personally in terms of like best overall year, um, I'm going to personally take uh Fede Valverde had a really great year. Obviously Real Madrid won the champions league and that typically is a big deal. So let's go jump into, there's a tremendous amount of content today. So let's go run you through everything, um, that you guys need to know about. So first and foremost, of course, we'll get this. Let me go favorites on this new stuff so there's just a ton we have the midfielder pack and we have all these new upgrades to run you guys through look at this man it's insanity okay so let's go grab this we already had that today all right lovely so here's all our new content let me go get rid of bail so it was 75 plus player pick this out for a week it is repeatable it's a one of three player pick Obviously, you can get Team of the Years in player picks. You can also technically get icons because icons are a promo. So those Team of the Year icon cards are promos this year. Um, so that would be available to you as well to get in these player picks. Those That team goes away actually after today. So maybe tomorrow we'll have a new icon team, but we'll see about that. This is six gold players. This is great. I mean, it's just one of those things where if you at some point get a bunch of duplicates while you're rinsing packs, it's just a, one more option for you to put into player picks, right? Then we have an 81 double upgrade, uh, which is repeatable the entirety of this build up of this week. So EA obviously want you to open packs before the team of the year really fully drops. Five rares um, is needed and 11 golds. It's pretty expensive, but an 81 double is a really good pack at the very minimum for good fodder, 83s, 84s in your club, and then maybe potentially a team of the year, right? Now here's where I think this is really the, the good stuff. Make sure you do your daily login upgrade, right? Every single day, bronze player, easy as that. And there's some great uh, objective content I'm gonna run you through too here in a second. But here's where I think this is where you spend most of your time, in, in my opinion. So they changed them this year. Um, they typically used to be 12 players. Um, they've changed it, and I'll kind of run you through what it is. So if you have never seen Team of the Year before, every year we get these league-specific upgrades, the Premium Premier League, the Premium Ligoon, the Premium La Liga, and the Premium Bundesliga, right? They typically are 12 rare, or twelve gold players, three rare players from that league, and then nine commons. They've reduced it this year to eight Premier League players. That includes three rares and five commons, which isn't bad. I mean, it's, it's it just sucks it's less players, and you're it's the same requirements, right? It's... If we didn't know what was in the past, this would be a great upgrade for you to do anyways. It's just that we previously get four more players from every one of these packs than we're getting now. And that kind of sucks, right? That kind of sucks. What I would say is, though, the nice thing about this is that we do have those League SBCs that are available right now, where you have the League Un needs and you have the Premier League needs, right? Where you could be doing the Premier League SBC, you could be doing the League Un SBC, these upgrades, right? And you could very easily be getting yourself the players you need to do that premium mixed leagues upgrade to get yourself different variations of packs. So these are available to you guys if you want to go ahead and check them out. I'm going to see if there's any different price for the premium Bundesliga one. No, it's all rare. So it, it it's tough to justify. You're going to sit there and go, why would I put 11 rares into this pack to get three rares back? Leaps of it. It's because they are typically some of the best chances for you to get some team of the years. It's just one of those where you're going to want to use untradeable duplicate rare golds, right? To rinse them. Then we jump over to these common ones. So there's just the Premier League upgrade. This is where you just get uh, one rare and two commons. So these are a lot cheaper, but obviously it's a lot less value in the pack. So when you want to go ahead and complete this, is exactly gold players in your squad. Once again, you might say, why would I put 11 common golds to get one rare and, and, and two commons? But once again, it is an option for you if you just have like a ton of common golds from off leagues, you just don't know where to put them and you're not really interested in, let's say the um, player pick SBC, which is where I would go personally with that content, but like player pick SBC or stuff like that, this is another alternative for you. So it's just a, it just gives you a lot of options, right? You just have a tremendous amount of options available to you in this game right now. Uh, 83 plus midfielder pack, if you do want to go ahead and do that as well, is an 84 overall, one player over 84 overall, and then an 83 rated team, which, you know, I think actually is good value because 
the midfielders I think are a lo lot more packable than attackers so you actually have a way higher chance you probably won't ever get one me either but I think it's probably worth the risk if you have the fodder to do it now let me go show you this really sick content from EA I love this um at least from what I saw on the initial uh group setting so we have team of the year premium upgrade SBC beginner and team of the year premium upgrade SBC veteran so Team of the Year Premier League Upgrade. So if you complete the Premier, Premier League Upgrade SBC, which is the one that they reduce the players on, uh, you get exactly an 81 plus pack back. And then you do it for every one of these, right? So if you do one of all those leagues, you get just internally uh, an extra 581 doubles, which isn't a huge deal, but it is a, just a nice little bonus, right? If you're doing those upgrades. And then what you do is if you if you get through all these, right? All of a sudden you get to complete the Premium Premier League Upgrade 25 times, you get an additional a Premier League player pack and you get an additional A Premier like you get all these different you do it 50 times you just get additional ones on top of it it's not anything crazy right it's not like the most insane content of all time but what it is is that's just saying hey look if you go ahead and you're rinsing these we're just gonna give you a little bit more of a bonus on top of it so which a lot of people will do I think a lot of people will end up doing probably not the city ah right probably not the city ah because there's not really a lot of opportunity to pack anything there but the Bundesliga, the La Liga, and the Ligue 1 and the Premier League are going to be really, really viable to you guys. As you get your grind, you're going to get additional packs on top of that. And they'll give you just, at the end of the group awards, 10,000 XP. So if you've been maybe slacking on this end and you need a lot of XP, it's an opportunity to really kind of move a bunch of notches up and get yourself that content. So there's your video for the day. Sorry it's long. There's just so much going on in this game right now, which is great. I wish you all the best of luck in packing Team of the Years. There's no feeling better than packing a blue. So if you guys watch this video, hit that like button. Sub if you're new to the YouTube channel. It's greatly appreciated. Follow if you're new to the Twitter account. And we will catch you for a video tomorrow. Peace.